More than 60 years ago, the Lubbock Area United Way began with a vision to help those in need for the greater good of our community. The purpose of the organization, then known as the Lubbock Community Chest, was to help fund agencies that dealt with the most pressing issues of the day. Problem youth, problems to themselves and to Lubbock, problems caused by idle hands. That first Lubbock United Way campaign held in 1946 had a goal of raising just over $92,000 and benefited six local partner agencies. Of those six original United Way agencies, four remain United Way community partners today. Whose hands are these? Hands that offer help, companionship. Whose are they yours? Throughout its history, the Lubbock Area United Way has been led by the hands and hearts of thousands of local volunteers. Founding members of the Lubbock Area United Way include familiar names that grace LIST schools and Lubbock parks. Visionary leaders like R.F. Bayless, K.N. Clapp, Charles E. Majin, Jr., and Robert E. Maxey. These community leaders left behind a legacy of service that has endured for more than six decades. Never too old to learn, there is time and a teacher. The YWCA provides for those who are interested and eager to learn. It provides for those who show true concern about learning. The 1960s was a decade of change for our country and for our local United Way. In 1961, the Community Chest changed its name to the United Fund. Under the capable direction of staff members like Nelda Thompson and Jerry Henderson, the United Fund continued to raise funds and relentlessly sought out solutions for problems facing Lubbock's growing population. Your United Fund gift helps to dry her tears. It helps to ease her pain. Age doesn't matter. On May 11, 1970, the rugged spirit of Lubbock was put to the test when a massive tornado hit the city, leaving behind a trail of death and destruction. Having gone through the tornado, and a few days afterwards, we were put in some housing. And I remember so vividly that I was in the back room of that house and heard a commotion out front. And it was a big trailer of furniture, clothes, dishes, anything, everything that we needed at that time. I remember at that time feeling, what are these people doing here? They don't know me, I don't know them, but yet they have come to meet my family's needs. And that made such an impact in my life at that moment when I was feeling so down, not understanding what had actually happened, why it had happened to us. It made a complete turnaround in my life when I saw those individuals stepping up and holding a hand out for us. The 1970 Lubbock tornado is a terrifying reminder of what the forces of nature are capable of. However, it is also a reminder of what the human spirit and volunteer forces are capable of. The one thing that I learned after having passed through the May 70 tornado is that there were people that were willing to step up to help me, a stranger. 
Before dawn on May 12th, several United Way agencies and hundreds of volunteers were on hand to help provide food, shelter, and hope to a community that had been literally shaken to its foundation. In 1974, the United Fund became known as the United Way of Lubbock. Community leaders such as J.C. Chambers, Alan Henry, and Marjorie Castman served in leadership roles and led the United Way through the 1970s and into the 1980s. When Lubbock first began, city government was a matter of neighbors getting together for a town meeting. It's a bit more complex now, but the basics remain the same the citizens still have a voice in their city government. It's the same way with United Way. It's still of, by, and for the people. Local people do the budgeting, the allocating, the planning, the campaigning, and the administration. If you're not a part of United Way, you can be. Whether you spend long, long hours on a budget and allocations committee, or making calls on your business neighbors for contributions, you can be a strong voice keeping and supporting United Way agencies that help make our community better. From the local volunteer who calls on a local business person to the volunteers on the board who make the decisions, United Way continues to be local people helping local people. With the turn of the century approaching, the United Way of Lubbock also began turning its focus to becoming more than just a fundraising vehicle. In 2002, the organization originally known as the Community Chest officially became the Lubbock Area United Way. Today, in partnership with 23 community partner agencies, the Lubbock Area United Way works to find not quick fixes, but to address the root causes of issues facing our community. The Lubbock Area United Way serves as a unifying organization to bring the community together to create a meaningful and tangible impact in the community. Since 1946, the Lubbock Area United Way has raised more than $119 million and impacted the lives of thousands of families and individuals. Though times have changed, some things remain the same. Just as it did 60 years ago, the Lubbock Area United Way continues working for the greater good of our entire community. For many years, I've seen the power of the United Way work. United Way offers everyone the opportunity to be a part of the movement that changes our community for the better, one individual at a time. I'm grateful for the dedication of more than 400 campaign volunteers who give their time to ensure that our United Way succeeds. Two days ago, Lubbock Independent School District students came together from our four high schools, led by the United Way Youth Division. These kids showed us how they live united. Just like our campaign volunteers and these high school students, however you choose to give. Advocate. Volunteer. It does make a difference. Live United.